While meeting my Paris friends in cafes since I started living in Paris has surely been a pleasure. Sometimes we love to meet in an elegant tea salon like La Durée. For me, La Durée's tea salon at 16 Rue Royale has a touch of mystery because of their rich history since they were established in 1862. Among La Durée's several locations, this is their original one. It's about a 10 minute walk from Place de la Concorde and near the Church of the Madeleine. While we linger over tea, I enjoy realizing that legendary couture fashion designers such as Yves Saint Laurent have also enjoyed lingering here. I imagine it's the kind of salon where Karl Lagerfeld, until recently creative director of the fashion house Chanel, may have been. Another noteworthy part about La Durée's rich history, La Durée is thought to have invented the iconic Parisian macaron. This Parisian macaron is made with two crisp meringue rounds filled with buttercream, ganache, or other fillings. At La Durée, they strive to create food that is just as delicious in appearance as it is in taste, a pairing that to me creates even more of a sensuous experience. While you're eating, make sure to look up at the paintings of cherubs on the ceiling. They were done by a Paris artist who was famous during the second half of the 1800s. When Ladere appointed him to paint them, he drew his inspiration from paintings at the Garnier Opera House and the Sistine Chapel. I enjoy looking for the cherub called the Pastry Angel. But if you don't have time to sit down, you can buy macaron and other foods to take away. By the way, all of the macaron are gluten-free. How fabulous is that? It's worth buying some macaron at their tea salon because even though La Dore's macaron can be bought in other places, these in their pastry case are kept at the best temperature and were filled very recently. Afterward, if you'd like to marinate further in the history of another of La Durée's famous guests, the legendary couture fashion designer Coco Chanel, wander over to the Ritz Hotel at Place Vendôme, where Chanel kept a suite for a home. Years ago, when the Ritz closed for renovation, some of Chanel's furniture from her suite was auctioned and fetched astounding prices. When I yearn to dream, I imagine waking up in Chanel's suite gazing at the towering green column, then strolling over to La Durée for a breakfast croissant and tea. For links to some of my other videos, look below this video screen.